Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on how to use Rapid Rig Modular. Um, in this tutorial I'm just going to quickly go over how to install and get your scripts running. So once you've purchased Rapid Rig Modular you should get a zip file which will contain these two files. We have rapidrigmodular.mel and rapidrigmodularselector.mel and these are uh, the two scripts that you'll be using for the most part to generate your rig and then use for animation purposes. So to begin, what you want to do is put these in your scripts folder in your Maya preferences. That way every time you start up Maya it knows where to find these uh, these commands or these scripts. And simply drag and drop them in there. And if you're not sure where this is, the easiest way to find it would be to drag either one of these, they have the same instructions, um, into something like text edit or notepad. Um, and then there's some instructions at the top and some other information as well. So at the top of this, we can see there's like the version number and uh, the date of it. So this is important when you want to get updates and know which version you might have. And uh, what we're going to do for the installation is we want to grab this command here. So type in the following command into Maya to get your directory. So I'll just copy this out of here. And then I'll start up Maya. And once I'm inside of Maya, I'll just execute this either from the command line or from the script editor. Either one will work. So I'm just going to go into the command line here, and I will paste that in, and I'll just hit uh, enter on my keyboard. And there we go, here's the result. So this is the path where I want to put my scripts. So I'm going to quit Maya right now, and you'll want to do the same thing before you um, try using these scripts, because you'll need to restart Maya so that it knows where to find all these properly. And so once I've done that, I can then go ahead and drag these into the correct location, which hopefully you found from within Maya. And I'll just close this. And I'll throw these in here. Now I already have mine in here, but I'll just uh, replace them. Just so I know I have the latest ones. And so now I'll start up Maya uh, again after putting those files in the correct location. And once I'm here, I can simply uh, execute the name of that file. So I have Rapidrig Modular, and that's neat, and Rapidrig Modular Selector. So if I highlight this and execute it, here's the interface for Rapidrig Modular. So if you're familiar with Rapidrig Advanced, this has a little bit more going on, um, but I will be going over all that and I'll just do a quick explanation of what this stuff is right now. So in here we can create our different proxy types. So this is not the actual rig, this is just the proxies. And in here we have what different ways of manipulating them. There's quite a bit going on so I do explain this in, in quite a bit of detail to make it a little more uh, convenient for you to understand. And then in here the generate rigs, so once you're happy with your proxies you can go ahead and give your character a name, generate the rig, then you start selecting your joints you want to skin to. You can start making adjustments to uh, your control size and color. And then there's also some extras here for uh, deleting your proxies, deleting your rigs, renaming joints uh, for Motion Builder. If, uh, if you're using anything like Motion Capture or just want to bring in a Motion Capture uh, software, perhaps. Uh, so you can use that naming convention. Uh, later on on your single joint chain. Uh, so back to the task at hand. So anytime I want to highlight or anytime I want to run this, I can highlight it and hit enter or I can um, create a shelf button out of this. And I've created my own custom shelf tab and I can simply drag this up in there and I can add it as a mel script because that's what this is. And I can do the same thing with this one as well. Mel. And I have an old one here. I'll just get rid of that one. And there we go. So if you drag it up here, you will get these icons without any names. So I'm just going to go into the shelf editor and I'm going to call this one uh, RRM and this one I'll just call RRS, something three letters or so. That way it's uh, it'll read. I could try MS, but it might get cut off. Sure, that works. Okay, um, and now that you have these two scripts, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, this one, the second one, won't do anything yet because we actually need to have a rig generated for that one to come up, and I will explain how to use that interface 
in a later tutorial. Thanks for watching.